Welcome to Growing Faith Resources. I'm Katie, I'm a certified Christian educator, and I'm here to help you figure out what's gonna work best for your congregation. Today, we're gonna to spend some time looking at the congregational guide from our curriculum, Follow Me, Biblical Practices for Faithful Living. So let's take a look. Before we dive into the Congregational Guide, let's talk about Follow Me Biblical Practices for Faithful Living. This is a curriculum that's meant for your whole church, and today we're going to be talking about just the Congregational Guide. But a couple of things you need to know about Follow Me. It's a unit-based curriculum that studies different practices and where those practices are from in the Bible. And so you study each of those practices for about four sessions or maybe six, depending on if you're doing things for Lent. Um, you can learn more about Follow Me and how it works by watching our overview video or some of the other videos we have up on this channel. And I'll try to throw a few links in the description for you. But let's talk about the Congregational Guide. The Congregational Guide is the piece that's going to help take what you're learning about when it comes to the practice that you're studying into the very fabric of your congregation. So there's a lot of different pieces in here, and you're going to find that there is something for everyone in your congregation in this guide. So that means that people like your pastor, or if you have a Christian educator or a youth director, or maybe some other volunteers leading like a worship team or something, lots of people are going to find this guide very useful because the goal of this guide is to really help with the immersive experience in a particular practice. So as you're studying things like hope or prayer or being welcoming, uh, you're really going to find that this guide takes things to the next level, creates a, a deeper dimension or depth in what you're studying. And so you're going to find that this guide is really helpful as you move forward. So let's look inside this congregational guide and take a look at some of the pieces that are in here. First of all, what all is in here? The answer is quite a lot. So let's take a look at what's inside. We have a foundational essay, worship helps, a cafe discussion guide, an intergenerational session, curriculum connections, practicing the practice at home, and children's worship leaflets. So let's dive into each of these pieces and see what kind of things they offer us. The first piece that I wanna to talk to you about is the foundational essay. This is the backbone of the curriculum. It was written by a biblical scholar and they go into much deeper detail about what this practice is and where it comes from in the Bible and how we've used it, all kinds of great background information that you may want to know. So we've included this in the congregational guide for anybody who'd like a deeper look inside this practice. And in fact, we didn't just stop with the congregational guide. We included the foundational essay in all of the pieces that we've put out because we thought everyone might like this deeper dive. So we thought this would be especially helpful for people like pastors who may want to use this as a uh, background information for a sermon series they may want to work on around this practice. But also a lay person may want to read it just to ex explore the practice in greater detail or greater depth. And so it, we've included it in the adult pieces as well. Um, now, I want to say that even though this uh, essay has a lot of good, solid background theology and exegesis in it, it's not going to be so unapproachable that someone without a lot of theological background will sit there and have to Google what these words mean every five sentences. Um, it's very approachable, very lay friendly. And so we hope a lot of people will take advantage of this great essay provided to us by these amazing scholars. And we certainly have quite a good list of scholars, people like Tom Long and Lynn Bob and many, many others. Next, let's talk about worship helps. These are excellent for your pastor or anybody doing any kind of worship leadership. There is so much great stuff that you can use and just plug and play directly into your bulletin or however you communicate to your worshipers what's happening in a service. So if your pastor's already using the foundational essay, as we talked about in the previous section, to kind of come up with a sermon, the worship helps help really craft that sermon around the practice. So you'll find things like hymn and song suggestions, 
You may find liturgy that you can use for various parts of the worship service, like prayers, call to worships, all kinds of things that you might use, even benedictions. But we also have some creative liturgical ideas, different activities or ways of using the practice in the service that might be new or different for you to try out. So these are really, really helpful. And the worship helps have, um, there's enough of these for every single session. So that means you're going to have multiple weeks of worship helps. So this means that for every service that you craft while you're using the particular practice or unit for those four weeks or six weeks, you're going to have worship services that are themed around all of these things if you use these worship helps. Let's switch gears and talk about the cafe discussion guide. This is a great no prep kind of discussion guide. Uh, it's great for using with very informal settings. So things like um, video chat, small groups, or maybe in a coffee shop, or you can also use this with um, like pub theology or something like that. And it's a way to continue to have conversations around the practice. So maybe you have a group of folks that usually meets to discuss the uh, what the pastor has been preaching on week to week. This would be a great thing for that group to use as well. So this is a two-sided page that has virtually no prep for the leader, and it's uh, going to be included for every single session in the practice. So that means you're gonna have a minimum of four of these cafe discussion guides to use with your small groups. And for these small groups, these can be with adults, these can be with young adults, or even with youth, um, especially those youth that like the more discussion-based kind of sessions. So there's a lot of flexibility and a lot of ways that this guide is gonna come in handy as you're doing ministry in person, in a hybrid setting, or even just straight up online. The intergenerational session is something I am really excited about because I know so many churches that have wanted to kind of dip their toes into intergenerational ministry but haven't been sure where to start. And so this intergenerational session is the perfect place. So there is one of these sessions for every single practice and um, it's something that your whole congregation can come together to use. So. Be, the idea behind intergenerational ministry is that everyone, no matter whether they have kids or they're single or they're just a couple or you have some kind of blended family, everyone can literally come together and engage in the practice together. So these are full-fledged session plans, meaning there's robust materials that you can use. This makes a fantastic kickoff event if you're going to start the practice or it makes a great closing celebration if you've already spent a lot of time learning about the practice. But honestly, you could stick this anywhere that makes sense for your church's calendar as you're exploring this practice and trying to engage in it as partners in learning together. Curriculum connections are gonna be really helpful for anyone who's looking at kind of the big picture of what's going on with Follow Me. So if you're a staff person or you're just a volunteer who kind of oversees the ministry aspects or the faith formation in your congregation, then you're gonna to wanna to take a look at this page. Well, a couple of pages. The Curriculum Connections shows you from 30,000 feet a view of what each age group is engaged in doing. Not every single activity that they're doing, but the big highlights, the things that you might find interesting. So as the leader, this is helpful information for you because there might be things that you wanna pull and integrate in other places. For example, if the children make uh, a banner or something, you may wanna find some place to hang it. That could be in a worship service or in a hallway in your church building if you have one or something like that. Um, maybe the youth are writing a prayer or something that you might wanna feature in a worship service or at a session meeting. So it kind of gives you that way of continuing to build on the connections that we've already got going on Again, trying to really get at that immersive experience into whatever practice you are studying. In our congregational guide, we've also included an important piece for families, and that piece is practicing the practice at home. This is a two-sided page that you can either physically hand to your families or send them electronically. And there's one of these for each practice because we didn't wanna be sending home something every single week. This way there's just one sheet that you can send home with families one time and they have it for the entire time that you're learning about a specific practice. 
Now on this sheet are a lot of things that families can do together. And some of those things are really, really simple, like the discussion starters. So these are a bunch of questions and prompts and things that get families thinking about a specific practice, asking questions like, how do we do this practice in our family? When do we do this practice? Should we start doing this practice if we don't? Um, all those kinds of questions that don't involve having a right answer so parents don't have to feel like, oh, is that the right answer? Did I say the right thing? It's very, very wondering style kind of questions that are very, very uh, easy and fun for families to wonder about and think about and imagine together. Other things included on this sheet are different activities that families can do around a specific practice. So some of these are gonna be really easy, simple things that families can do, and others are gonna be much more in depth. Maybe you might take a field trip somewhere, like you might go gleaning or you might go to a food pantry or something like that. But then you also might do something simple, like during your hospitality unit, you might invite someone over for dinner who you don't normally invite or different things like that. So there's a whole plethora of things for families to explore as they look at all of these practices. And I should add that the practicing the practice at home sheet isn't only in the congregational guide. We've also included it in the young children's leader's guide and the multi-age children leader's guide. So you're gonna find it in all three places, which makes it very accessible uh, for families to use. The last piece in the congregational guide is the children's worship leaflets. And there, these are two-sided pages and there is one for every single session. So that means you're going to have a minimum of four. There are so many things for children to do on these pages. So one is that there is going to be a puzzle or some kind of game. And there's also going to be a coloring page. Additionally, we've included an adapted version of the Bible story for that session. And finally, there's a couple of suggested activities that families can do together around the particular practice that you're studying at home. So this is a great sheet to give to your children to use during worship or to just send home to families digitally if you like. This concludes the information about the Congregational Guide. If you'd like to learn more about Follow Me, Biblical Practices for Faithful Living, we have other videos on this channel that you're welcome to explore, and I'll try to link a few of those in the description below. Additionally, if you'd like to learn more about Follow Me, a great place to get a lot of good information is our website, which is www.pcusastore.com backslash follow me curriculum. And so I hope you'll go there and see all the great things that are there. You can download a sampler, which shows you everything that we talked about today, plus some uh, examples from all the other pieces. And if you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that notification bell, you'll know when we post more videos about Follow Me and other great things that are gonna be useful for your congregation. So thank you for watching and God bless.